This project aims at replacing the inconvenience of conventional crutches with a height-actuating straight leg brace. Excluding the Oser Innovator thigh brace and solenoids, every piece of this project was custom built. The CNC machine was used for the outer thigh support socket and the locking ring. Given the complex and somewhat awkward geometry of several components, JB Weld Epoxy was widely used. Unfortunately, the cure time and strength of epoxy gave rise to a number of last-minute construction issues. A major concern of this project was whether the solenoids would be strong enough to release the foot locking pin. To address this, we tried to maximize the solenoid power by finding the distance and voltage at which they created the largest force. The DSP receives an analog input signal from the accelerometer. The signal is time averaged to eliminate the effect of accidental bumps and signal spikes. When the accelerometer turns beyond a calibrated threshold, the solenoids are triggered. Originally, a transistor relayed 12 volts to the solenoids. Though the voltage and current were not limited, the transistor delayed the time for full power to reach the solenoids and significantly reduced their strength. The redesign used the transistor to power a mechanical relay, which allowed an immediate 12 volts and 5 amps to flow to the solenoids. A pin locks the system, giving the clearance needed for the person to take a step. When the injured leg ascends to take another step, a signal from the accelerometer activates two solenoids that remove the pin and release the spring-actuated footpiece. This device is clearly still a prototype, but it demonstrates that the foot release mechanism has some merit. 